My name is Erin Gruntman. I'm the principal at St. Peter's Elementary. I'm Seth Wilbur, and I'm the eighth grade principal at South Middle School. I'm Jeff Letcher. I'm uh, an assistant principal at North High School. I'm Lynette Cornett, director of Early Childhood Special Education at the Early Childhood Center. Um, it's very important to check in in the main office to make sure that you know where your classroom is. Um, our secretaries and our office clerks will be helpful, um, show you where to go, who to talk to, who's like your teacher to rely on if you have questions, um, and kind of introduce you to the building. Typically our head secretary, building secretary, will handle all the subs and, and the procedures that go along with that. Uh, she will have emergency sub plans if you need them, uh, but typically our sub plans are in the classrooms of the teacher uh, with those sub plans will be our crisis manual as well. So if you were to run into any issues, if we had a drill, if we had an actual emergency, that, that would guide you on how to handle that and what, what procedures go to there. That procedure should pretty much be the same in every building, where you'll check in with the main office, every teacher leaves a subfolder, there's even gonna be emergency sub plans for you. Um, if a teacher accidentally forgets to leave a sub plan or has an emergency at home and can't prepare um, a, a typical lesson. I think the first expectation would be for you to love our kids. Um, our kids come from different backgrounds. They have um, expectations of a teacher just because they've been with the teacher for a while. So they feel like this is what should happen. And you coming in new to that climate and that classroom, um, you're going to have to mold to them. Um, so that's kind of the first one is just love our kids, be flexible with them, and know that you're new to their environment. Um, I think the second thing would be to follow the teacher's plans that they have in place um, because they work really hard to make sure that they have a good plan set in place for their kiddos. You know, we'll often get repeat substitutes in our buildings. We love to learn their names and, and we expect those subs to learn our students' names too if you're coming in frequently. We also expect you to be out in the hallway, be out in the cafeteria. Um, get to know the kids, contribute positively to our culture, even though you might only be there for, you know, a day or um, two days, or you may even be a long-term sub. Um, but we do expect you to be out and about in our community. Um, we also expect you to leave reports for the teachers, um, not all negative reports. Uh, it's great to celebrate that the kids are, are good kids and they're behaving and they're doing what they should be doing. Um, so don't be afraid to leave positive notes for, for the students. Each building we have a, a unique way of recognizing uh, the positives that students have. In our building a kid gets a free milkshake or free french fries or they might get a free pizza from Stefanina's uh, if you recognize them for good behavior and that's a great way to you know, even establish yourself as one of the subs that kids want to behave for, that kids want to have back. If you do have something bad happen, leave that and help us, you know, help us identify where we can make it better for you um, because obviously you're vital to our success. My expectations of a sub is uh, to be present, um, to be there for the kids, to, to get to know the kids, to adapt to what's happening, to supervise the children, be in the hallway, um, be engaged. Please don't just sit at the desk, um, but, but get, walk around and talk to the kids. You may not know what the subject content is, but just walking around, getting to know the kids, working with them, talking to them is what draws people back to the building and, and draws students to those subs. Interaction with our students. Um, in early childhood, you're down on the floor a lot, so getting down and um, facilitating play and working on um, helping those students communicate and with their social skills um, all while playing. It's extremely important. Um, when that teacher is gone from the building, it's like the mom is gone from the home. And so it's the safety net. So it's the person that's going to keep the safety of those kids. It's the person that's going to keep the day going and moving forward. And it's the person that's going to help those kids ultimately learn that day. So that that's our goal is that our kids always learn at a high level. And so for that sub to come into that room is super important to make sure those kids are continuing to learn and feel safe at school. You know, you always go back to your favorite teachers. It was probably the teachers that called home on something good that happened versus something bad that happened. Um, you're probably remembering the teachers that recognized you for an award um, versus the teachers who maybe called you out all the time in class. Um, so I think it's important as a sub if you want to establish yourself and, and be invited back. and. And really the students are going to pull you back because the students are going to be the ones that talk to the, those regular teachers. Um, 
you know, I, I think it's important that you recognize the good that goes on in that class while you're there. If you were to run into an issue that couldn't be solved by looking at the sub plans or maybe looking through that crisis manual, you could go to a neighboring classroom with a teacher that would be more than willing to help. Uh, you could buzz the office. You could talk to a department chair, um, especially if it revolved around the content or the plans. It might be easier to go to the teachers first to get some help, but if it was a student issue or, or something bigger than that, um, buzzing the office or finding an administrator or a counselor. Don't be afraid to take a break. Give the kids an icebreaker. Give them um, some kind of brain break activity. Peek your head into the neighbor's uh, classroom and ask that teacher for, for help. Um, worst case scenario, emergency scenario, you can always buzz the office. A principal or a hall monitor can step in and give you a break. I think it's always a good idea to, to have backup activities uh, because it may not be you, it might be the lesson plan that, te that, that the teacher left and uh, if you have a great plan B, you can just jump into your own plan B and uh, kind of change the tone for the class. During our extended school year this year, we did have a substitute that was filling in for one of our paras and we have twin boys that were getting off um, the bus and the bus driver accidentally switched their backpacks and so um, as they were put into little wagons and being brought into the building, um, we quickly realized that we were identifying them as the wrong one. We'd switched them. So don't always um, rely on a backpack to let you know who a kiddo is. We have a substitute that the, that the kids just love having in the building. And um, one of the things that, that this substitute will do is they will stand outside the door with the roster in hand and the student can't get through the door until the student shakes his hand, tells them their name, and he has to pay them some kind of specific compliment before they're allowed to go into the class. Kids love him, teachers love him, um, and, and go figure, he rarely has any kind of discipline problems. One of my first experiences last year at North, this is not a funny story, but one of my first experiences with a sub, she was a, she's a regular sub in the building. She comes back over and over again, and it was mid-fall, and she got, she buzzes the office, and one of the other assistants made the comment, or the secretary made the comment that the sub never has issues, so something must be going on. So I, so I, I rushed down there, and, and she's walked me through what's happened in this situation, and walked me through um, how she handled it and, wh and what she did and, and one of her comments was this is the f first time I've ever had any sort of issue at North High because the kids are so are so great but I think that those issues don't arise because she is very personable with the students and, and gets to know them and, and is engaged while she's in that classroom and, and that can happen for any sub if you're taking those those opportunities to, to really kind of ingrain yourself in the, in the culture and in the, in the classroom with the students.